Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be trying to laser etch 3D printed PLA parts. I saw a video on laser etching PLA and I really wanted to try it out for myself. We will have to find out the amount of power to use to laser etch perfectly onto our PLA without melting it. Our 3D printed PLA part right now has a top layer of 5, so you are looking at around a total of 1.5 millimeters or the whole top layer. Before we start, we have to level the laser cutter just like a 3D printer. Now that we leveled it, we can start the etching process and find the sweet spot. So after a series of experimenting with different power settings, I think we found a sweet spot. But before that, here is what the different power settings look like. We can see that by the time we got to the laser strength of 80, the PLA already started to deform around it and it wasn't really a nice rectangular shape anymore. So I continued to push to see when I'll see the info on our PLA print when it will melt it all the way down. So in order for me to etch all the way down to the info, I had to slow down the speed and use a laser strength of 100. Now that I found out how deep it would etch, let's try etching something more complicated onto the tile. Here is what it looks like. I had to get the size right, but the setting used to etch here was a laser strength of 65. I also etched two more on top with a laser strength of 100 and you can see that it actually melted um, for the T in Tinkering, the logo, and it's a bit deformed, but the writing came out really nice. So here's the final product. I actually think it came out pretty good. We switched back down to a laser strength of 65 and I think that the text came out really nice. Well, since our PLA printed part is flat, uh, it, it's easier to etch, but it will definitely be harder if the object isn't flat, but it should still come up with very similar results. Well, there we have it. We tried laser etching PLA and then after experimenting with different settings, it came out pretty good after we found the sweet spot. It seems perfect to etch fine text onto prints for the added detail. Before I end, I just wanted to remind everyone about Tinkering U. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of the experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.